Okay, Umti looking for the dive here. Flash in from Delight and Kumayushi gets the flash away though. And that's the first blood. And Owner is also here. Misses the first spear but executes Hanna. And Carrier, well, he might as well lock Umti up. Owner here with the red buff. Just needs one auto attack to get the slow. But uh, yeah, Umti looking for the trade kill here onto Carrier with the minion wave. Uh, yeah, that's a bit something. And Owner misses the next spear. Okay, that's... Ah, the classic T1. Remember worlds, 8 minutes, 5 men and Rift Heralds. And uh, yeah, it seems that we're continuing this trend after we didn't saw it earlier. But Zeus here is getting... Yeah, uh, that... Uh, nah. I mean, it's not too bad. It's unnecessary. They dropped both their ultimate. But if they also get the Rift Herald, then... Uh, yeah, that's a bit of momentum. Uh, give him over. Um, very sad. We only got one plate. And uh, yeah. Should have cut our losses. So here Umti. Now making a counter play on the bot side. Using the Herald most likely. They're also looking to dive Carrier. And the flip side Morgan is also the dive target. But very good aggro drop uh, there. Carrier seems to get away. Faker t Pete down there as well. That is uh, sad as well. Delight also here will get away. T1 not really cutting down their losses it seems. Um, that is quite strange. Faker didn't TP at all. He could have just stayed in mid lane. Lava expended the ultimate. Uh, uh, we are still smooth sailing here. Might be able to get the pick onto Morgan with on around, but yeah, the bait is a bit obvious, I guess. Um, ooh, Morgan, very aggressive, flashing in, and uh, yeah, that's like nicely traded. Owner now here a bit behind enemy lines, and with a bit, I mean, quite a bit. Uh, why stop? What? what? He's even flashing. I mean, that took a while, but not sure if it's worth the flash. I mean, we get the turret out of it that we would have gotten either way. Uh, and we don't get the Drake afterwards. Ah, uh, these are some uh, very... Very uncommon errors. Uh, we are able to kill trades in the first instance, but then owner obviously falls in the end as well. Here Zeus again caught in the side lane. Carrier is out there to help, but not, yeah, not able to translate that. With uh, four members collapsing of bro, there's no way to get away. And T1 like, not able to translate to anything over the map. Then the rest of the team needs to be able to answer that. In, uh, in the mid lane with uh, a play of their own. Now here Zeus knows he is on his own. Uh, there's no uh, yeah, Galio ult in this. And he uh, should be able to win this fight. I mean it's a Camille but... Uh... Oh that is uh, very fortunate that that came through. Used the flash. Not sure about that in the first instance. But Zeus knows the damage better than I. So uh, yeah. Very nice. But now we're coming from the top side of the river, so never mind that. We still got the position in the end. And uh, yeah, with the vision lead as well, we should be able to land some poke. I mean, spears and so on, not really hitting all that much. Faker here, a bit out of position. But uh, yeah, anyway, Lava with a big flank, we got the first kill. But uh, yeah, never mind that. We avoided the main engage. Galio ult used in a fight. Faker should fall as well here. Didn't get the QE off, but uh, Ooh, Morgan goes in again. Carrier as well with the fourth shot of Jin. Very nice, and yeah, that's uh, that's the game. Gumayushi, that was... Ooh, very nice. Very nice owner, and another triple kill for Gumayushi. He collects them like Yu-Gi-Oh cards this, these days. And we also get the Drake. Do enable certain flanks that were never possible before. And uh, yeah, it seems like Faker is getting collapsed here by the entire team. Carrier with a return engage is able to save Faker for now. I say that, but Morgan finds the 
Ah, uh, a faker escapes, but the rookies die, and uh, never mind. The realm warp is ah. Uh, <laughs> All the TP flanks. One. What about our vision lead? What about our vision setup? Doesn't matter. If there's one ward for Morgan to TP on, then he can find the yeah follow up flank. Obviously, here owner, no, you can't do that. That is quite the disaster. We lose our mid lane turret. And we lose four members, the Drake, uh, the Baron as well. Yeah. Are, are we doing it? Are we trading base for Baron? No, we, we, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're just messing around. We're just confusing uh, Bro a bit. And uh, yeah, that's fine. And now with the total control over the vision there, we are looking to flip it. And um, the thing is, Baron takes a lot longer to kill than, uh, than Drake. Lava now has uh, all the defensive capabilities. Drake dies, Soul is transferred, but it will be a 4v5 fight. Oh god, oh god, it's going to be a total flip. Oh, no, bro, 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 bro they don't care. I mean, if, if they get aced here and lose Baron, then it's game over, but giving a Baron to the poke comp at this stage in the game, we can just run it down top, you know? Oh, T1, are they handshaking the fight? It seems like it. 20, uh, 10 seconds before the Elder. Um, not really sure about this one. Oh, Morgan is rooted up. Huh? But it's, yeah, it's the late game. Even Camille is now quite sturdy. So what are we going to do? Going to flip it, TP somewhere, flank somewhere. Morgan looking for the reset and the flank. Are there any wards in our back? Nope, they're not. Uh, are they strolling down mid lane? Lava obviously has the ultimate. Oh, it's, this is a very bad spot for us. Umti with the engage and the follow up ultimate and Zeus is immediately blown up. Oh, this looks very, very bad. Gumayoshi locked up slay. Uh, yike. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> what a disaster. That's why you don't draft these super arrogant comms, mates. That's why you don't do it. There is like, oh man, I sound so, I sound so salty, but there is actually like no real way for T1 uh, to win anything in this late game. You have to contest these fights, uh, but uh, there is no way to win them. What a disaster of a game. T1 played fairly decent. There were um, some positional errors, obviously here and there, but uh, after they weren't able to snowball the early slash mid game and, uh, effectively, there was very little they could do with their comp, given the uh, yeah, difference. Champions like the Galio and the Camille combo obviously are a complete detriment to any of these poke comps. We saw it, I think it was three years ago. This was a bread and butter combo in that time, um, banned out most of the time. And here in this game, we saw it again anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video at least. And uh, yeah, we see each other in game number two. Hopefully T1 is able to uh, yeah, get it back with yeah, a bit of a better draft. I mean, this draft, again, it can work, but there's no reason to do this. Anyway, 